And now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by this, the elders received a good report. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 and 2. On this note, we want to welcome you to this episode of The Summons. The Summons is a show designed to offer you an opportunity to connect with and also to receive from God. On The Summons, we say it is a call to discipleship. And on this particular episode of The Summons, we want to be focusing a lot more on faith. And the question we ask is, how deep is your faith? That's the question that I expect you to be pondering over even as we go through this entire episode. We'd want to go to our first set of ministrations and we'd want to once again have Lordina the Soprano together with the summoners as they bring to us the first set of ministrations. Let's relax and be blessed. Make a 
Beloved in the Lord, it's wonderful to be with you. Wonderful because today is the day the Lord has made and as the Bible says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Shall we pray? Thank you, Father, for the gift of life, for the gift of today. As we come to the program called the Summons, as we think of the way you call us and you summon us to come to you, we come with open hearts, grateful hearts, we come like children in great expectancy because we know you will speak to us. And so have your way by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let those who are watching this program, those who are listening, have an encounter with you, the eternal God who has revealed yourself through the Lord Jesus Christ, whom alone to know is eternal life. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, today we're going to talk about faith. And the topic is, how deep is your faith? When I was asked to speak about this, I began to ask myself, how deep is my faith? Can I even know the depth of it? I pray not, because you see, the Bible tells us that uh, with God, things can go much deeper. If, if his love for us, is from the east to the west, then obviously our faith too can go to the uh, deepest place. But it means that our source of faith is only in Christ Jesus. He's the one who's the source of our faith. And I remember in one of the encounters with 
the Pharisees, somebody asked, what can we do to do the work of God? And he says, you know, the work of God is to believe in the one whom he sent. So it means that faith in Christ Jesus is the most essential aspect of our relationship with God. But what is faith? I know many of us know the uh, definition that is given in Hebrews 11 in verse 1. Let me read it. It says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. For me, it's a bit too heavy. I'd rather go the simple way. What is faith? Faith is an unwavering belief in someone or in something. Interestingly, most of us have faith in our beds. You know, we don't think for one minute when we have to go and lie on our beds. Sometimes we even jump on it. That's how much faith we have in our bed or in the chair in the office or even in the trotter we're going to sit in. Have you ever asked yourself whether that particular trotter will take you to where you want to go? You have faith, even in the driver, whom you don't know. So how much more important it is to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, whom God sent to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. So if faith is belief in, unwavering belief in someone, then we're talking about faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, faith in God, the giver of life, the one who does everything, the one who knows it all, the one whose power is beyond everything we can think of. And as I thought about this, I couldn't help being so grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ for the way he tries to explain things to us. And I'd like us to go to John chapter 15, where Jesus talks about trees, branches, and fruits. He says he is the true vine, and that we who believe in him are the branches, that God is the gardener. And then he says, if we remain in him and he in us, we will bear fruit. As I thought about it, I said, well, how deep can my faith be? My faith will be deep as I remain in Christ Jesus, who is able to keep me from falling. You know, because as a branch, everything I need to be productive is from the stem of the tree I belong to. And so if my tree is the true vine, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, then as a branch, everything I need is from him. That's how deep my faith is. A total reliance on the vine for everything I need. Total reliance. And also an expectation that the vine will make me productive because the purpose of the branch is that I will showcase the tree I belong to by showing fruit. So the fruit that I show will let somebody know that this indeed is the vine tree. And I have a feeling that if Jesus had lived with us here in Ghana, especially if he lived around the Dodua area, he would use mango. Because that is the most preponderant tree around. So Jesus will probably say that I am the mango tree and you are the branches. And you know, if you haven't seen a mango tree before, when you drive and you see mango hanging on something, you will know that that is the tree. And I think this is what Jesus is trying to tell us. When in verse 16 of John 15, he says, you did not choose me. But I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Of course, earlier he had said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask anything you want and the Father will give it to you. Not only that, he had also said, apart from me, in verse 5 of John 15, apart from me, you can do nothing. 
So in talking about how deep our faith is, I would like us to take the words of the Lord Jesus Christ seriously. His call is that we should just abide in him, remain in him, stick to him. That's the depth of our faith. Let us become the branches that Jesus Christ calls us to be. In fact, names us. He says, if we belong to him, then we can rest assured that everything we need to be, the successes we're looking for in this world, the assurance that we'll be with God in eternity, the total reliance on the fact that God is able to take care of us will be accomplished. So if you ask me how deep my faith is, like a little child, I'll say my faith is as deep as the branch that remains in the tree. The branch that remains in Jesus Christ, the true vine, who enables me to be fruitful, same as you. Nice definitions are available, but I think this is a practical way of knowing that the one who has called us has called us to just come and dig deep in him, rely totally on him, certain that whatever we need to be relevant, whatever we need to touch other lives, whatever we need to be who he created us to be, will be assured. Have you heard any branch complaining that the tree is not providing the sap? It doesn't happen. Remain there. That's how de deep your faith should be. That is how deep your faith needs to be. That's what I'm taking away. Remain blessed. JP Fuel Delivery Services. We bring the right quality and quantity of fuel to your doorstep for your gensets and power plants. JP delivers premium Supremo high value GAT 3000 additivated diesel via a 24 7 responsive online ordering service backed by prompt and reliable delivery. Our well trained staff adhere to best practices, observing all EHSQ protocols as per NPA and GSA supply guidelines. GSA certified flow meters on our trucks guarantee our nozzles deliver the right quantities at the most competitive rates. JP trucks are designed to meet UL3 emission standards. Quality fuel and consistent supply on demand. Visit app.jpghana.com. Call JP now on 055-272-9099. JP, earn more, burn less. Thank you so much, Mommy, for as always blessing us with the word of God. Um, we want to go into our last batch of song renditions. But before that, we want to remind you to make time to subscribe to the channel Lordina the Soprano and also to click on the notification bell so that every time any new content is uploaded, you'll be notified. We'll take our last batch of song ministrations by Lordina the Soprano together with the summoners. And they begin with the song with the title, Ehu Amijidiju, to wait, fear dampens my faith.
Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for making time to watch this particular episode of The Summons. The Summons has been powered by Unique Productions and is always brought to you with the kindest sponsorship of all our sponsors. And we want to say a very special thank you to all the sponsors and all those who advertise on this show. If you're interested in advertising on this show or being a sponsor of this particular show, get in touch with the team via the various contact details at the bottom of your screen. Remember, summons is a call to discipleship and we are making ourselves available to disciple and also to be discipled. Until same time next time when we meet on this channel, remember, faith without actions are dead. Have a wonderful time. If we say